What is up Rocket Nation and welcome back to the channel for a little bit of a different video today. Today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to lightly mod uh, Elden Ring. So I want to preface this all by saying if you guys want to be able to play this game online, this video is not for you and this fix is not for you. I completely understand. I actually intended to play this game online from day one, but due to its shortcomings, I chose to go this route, but if you do want to play online, just know that this fix is not going to work for you. And anybody that does do this fix, you are going to be playing the game in offline mode. So I want to make sure that is very clear from the very start. This will cause you to play offline. And uh, with all that said, let's get right into it today, guys. Okay, so down below in the description, I have all the links to everything that you guys are going to be looking at. The main reason why I'm making this video is because there's several several things that I do to make my game look the way that it looks. And it all starts with a little program called Flawless Widescreen. So go down below in the description and uh, follow the link. It'll bring you to this, flawlesswidescreen.org. Uh, you're simply going to scroll down. You're going to download Flawless Widescreen. I chose this one. Choose whatever one is best for you. Uh, I went with the recommended one. Simply install the file. Super simple. When it is all said and done, you guys will have a little program that looks like this. Now, after this is all installed, all you're going to do is come to search plugins. You're going to look for Elden, and you can already see it, Elden Ring right there. You're going to click on it once. One left click will do, and it will install the entire package for you. All right, so you are going to click all three of these as well. This is for the FOV adjustment. This is for frame time adjustment. And this is for the vignetting effect or the darkness, uh, the dark shadows on the outside of the screen. Um, I've never been a big, fa big fan of vignetting, so I like to get rid of that as well. Um, if you want, you guys want your game to look like mine, I use a complete plus 50% field of view adjustment. Uh, my... Frame time adjustment, I bring to 121 FPS. Now, I have a 175 hertz monitor, but for some reason, the game just seems to be a little bit smoother for me at 121 FPS. So that is what I use. And then the vignette adjustment, I bring all the way down to zero, removing all vignetting. And then this right here, you're going to have to tick the little box that says acknowledge and ignore. This is basically telling you the exact same thing that I told you at the beginning. You're going to have to start your game in offline mode. And uh, that is that. And then you are all set with flawless widescreen. So every time that you want to start up the game, you'll open up flawless widescreen first, then open up the game. And all of these adjustments will be made. This little tab here will always remain open. And uh, it will always, every time you reopen the program, I'm saying, uh, that's what I meant to say. Every time you reopen the program, it'll essentially keep, it'll save all your settings. So you won't have to do anything else in this. You just open it up and then open your game and you're set to go. I'm going to move that off the side. And then we're going to jump into the second part of this tutorial. And that is um, the light modding that we're going to do. So first off, we're going to have to toggle off the anti-cheat. Uh, and how we're going to do that, the easiest way to do that is through this little uh, mod called the anti-cheat toggler and offline launcher. So we're going to come down here. You're just going to go to files. Links are, again, down in the description. You're going to go to Manual Download, click it. It's going to put it in your Downloads folder. Then you're going to go to Elden Ring Mod Loader. You're going to go to Files. You're going to go to this, Manual Download. Simply click it. It'll go to your Download folder. And then the final mod that we're going to be installing is called Fix the Camera. Love the name of it, by the way. Fix it! Um, we're going to go to Files. Manual download, and it will go to your downloads folder. Now, after all that is done, this is what your download folder is going to look like. You're essentially going to have these three mods. Uh, these are, this is pretty simple to do. As far as modding goes, this is about as simple as it gets. Um, so first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to your PC. You're going to click on local disk or wherever your Steam folder is. Program files x86. You're going to go to Steam. Steam apps, common, Elden Ring, and then game. And this is where all of your game files are, are stored for your game, for Elden Ring. Um, now, I already have a lot of, the, this is basically, I've already modded my game. So I'm going to run through the process of doing it, but do know that my folder is going to look a lot different than yours uh, until you're done with this entire process. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is install the toggle anti-cheat uh, mod. So you're going to right click on this and you're going to extract here. It's going to bring out four little files. You're just simply going to highlight these, drag and drop them into your game folder. They will disappear from over here and they will end up over here. 
and that is it all said and done. It is now installed. So what you're going to do is come to this little thing right here, toggle anti-cheat.exe. You're going to right click on it. You're going to go to send to, and you're going to send it to your desktop as a shortcut and boom, there you go. There's your shortcut. So every time you're going to start up your game, you're going to double click on this and it will say anti-cheat enabled or disabled be, be, depending on what uh, state your anti-cheat is in. So you want to make sure it is disabled, anti-cheat disabled, and then you start up your game. So on my other screen over here, I have a shortcut for Elden Ring. I will double click this and make sure that it says anti-cheat disabled, and then I'll simply open up my game. Super simple, very easy, and that part is all set. Super simple. See, this is easy as it gets, guys. No problem. And then the next thing we're going to do is the Elden Ring mod loader. So you're going to right click on this. You're going to go extract here. You're going to see two little files get dumped in here. You're going to highlight them, drag them, drop them over into your folder. They'll disappear from here. They'll end up over here. And the mod loader is installed. And all this does is starts up all mods before the game is actually started. So, uh, yeah, all mods will end up in a little mods folder. Um, the final thing that we're going to do is go to fix the camera. You're going to right click on it, extract here. It's going to give you a mod folder. You're just going to drag this one, drop it over. You don't need to go into it or anything. You just simply drag and drop it over and it will drop in the camera fix DLL. This is the mod right here into that folder. And essentially you are now all set. So you can close down everything and the process. Now, every time you're going to start up your game is you're going to open up flawless widescreen. It will open up to this. Everything will be already preset for you exactly the way that you left it. And you're going to set that aside or just minimize it down. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to double click the anti-cheat shortcut, uh, toggler shortcut. You're going to make sure that it says anti-cheat disabled, and then you're all good to go. And then you're going to double click your game. You're going to start up your game and you are all set. Hopefully that helps you guys out there. People that have been struggling with the camera that have been wanting to unlock the frame rate that have wanted a wider field of view. Um, this is the way that I prefer to play. So thank you guys so much as always. Guys, if you guys like the video, thumbs up. If you dislike it, thumbs down. And if you want to be notified when the next episode of our Elden Ring playthrough starts, all you got to do is sub to the channel and possibly click the little bell notification icon. And then you guys will be notified every time a new episode goes live. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short, pause, save, and I will see you guys in the next episode.